right. So I was thinking about what type of video did I want to make today? And it came to me. I haven't done long exposure photography in a really, really, really long time. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Pretty much a long exposure is the amount of time you expose your camera's sensor. Meaning if you want to do long exposure photography, you're going to want to have a slower shutter speed. Basically, a slower shutter speed, more light comes in, more motion blur. The faster the shutter speed, less light comes in, less motion blur. Well, that coffee didn't last long. Oh, I got blue ink on my desk. So I was changing my ink cartridges the other day, my printer, and accidentally got blue ink on my desk and now it doesn't want to come off. When it comes to doing long exposures during the day, you're going to need an ND filter. Pretty much an ND filter just cuts light out from coming into your sensor. The ND filter I use is a variable ND filter. If I spin this ring around, you'll see that it starts to get brighter. If I keep going, it'll start to get darker. So let's head down to the beach and go do some long exposures. One tip as well, set your camera on a two or 10 second timer because there's a slight chance if you press down to take a photo, your camera might move a little bit or it might wobble, meaning when you look back at your photo, it might be a little bit blurry. I've still got a little bit of time until sunset. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna end the video here guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like, go down there and hit subscribe. You guys know what to do. With all that said, stay safe, love you all, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.